Jo Pearl says she hasn't felt so free for the past two years since she publicly shared the details of her relationship with Brenner Boy. Nigerian singer Brenner Boy alleged side chick Jo Pearl has reacted to those who have been co calling her names and basically attacking her for calling him out. In a series of posts shared via her Instagram story, which was yesterday, the model addressed all the criticisms. First of all, she said it is hypocritical. It's the hypocritical comments for me. Some of you have never seen, have never been in love and it shows. Also, this generation's obsession with transactional relationship is disgusting and I have to chip in my own thoughts there and say I agree. The idea that someone is simply in love sounds so outlandish mm. to so many of you and it's quite scary. God help my generation. Mm. She continued to say lastly, I am beautiful, die inside and out. So let's not even bother to question my looks and character of peace and love. And like, trust me, she is beautiful. Like, like she's giving me vibes. I don't know. I don't know. Everything she said was just so spot on. So, like, like, like she took a time to write it. It was a masterpiece. She get like every line was the eat back to back. <laughs> Do you understand? Like, I felt every single thing. You know, people find the story of love like um, the fact that you're in love. You know, especially in our generation. In fact, some I know some boys that look at you when you're talking about love. Like, ah, you don't soft too. Mm. It's not like you are soft. It's just what it is like mm. there, there are a lot of people that also feel like they need companionship there are a lot of people that feel like transactional um sex is what works for them all and um it is very shameful these days that most of the okay sorry my apologies what? a lot of women right right a lot of women especially our, our generation uh, are quite into the old transactional thing. Even if they don't want to put it out there like it's all about the money, it's still about, so what's it going to be? <laughs> you get me? Like, they still have that question at the back of their mind, like, what are we going to be doing? You know, nobody wants to get to know anybody anymore before things go down. You know, it goes down in the DM these hmm. days. <laughs> so he goes down in the DM, he goes there, he goes <laughs> there, yeah. So um, I like the way she came you know, with every line, you know, elaborating on it that, look, it's really shameful that it's not all about transactional stuff now. And that it sounds really outlandish when somebody says they're in love. And mm. uh, obviously, there are a lot of people who's never been in love. And I can mm. remember when the story broke. That was the same thing we said, that, look, love is a, is a, is a yeah, crazy it makes thing. You it makes you do yeah. a lot of crazy things. You know, we're contemplating, could she be a cloud chaser? Could she be this? Could she be that? But at the end of the day, I think we all came to a conclusion that, look, it could just be love and she was just tired. I don't know if it was on this table or if I was just having this no, conversation. No, it was. It was. I, I remember um, talking about that as well. Yeah. I have to agree with everything that you said. She does sound to me like somebody that we could be friends. I, I don't know. I just like the way her mind works, especially mm. when she said, like, don't try it. I'm fine. Die. Period. Mm. Um, she's really handling the criticisms. And that, for me, shows that she's in a really good space. And mm. that coming out was helpful for her. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of people that you can... You see, it's very hard not to react like how mm. your heart is, mm. you know? Like, if she was doing this for clout, then all of the negative energy will probably get get to her more because she's looking for validation. But you can tell that she's not actually seeking peace of mind or validation from from social media and she's good mm. whether or not you like what she's she said she's she's good she's <laughs> very very good and i like that i mean the problem here is that nobody's criticizing burner boy everybody's even actually hyping him we're going to go and post something after this after this um saga that happened and he was chilling acting like you know i'm unbothered and everyone was hailing him laughing at him that's another conversation for another day but nobody's you know society it, it does society. it does but i'm happy for joe pearl and i'm happy that she's in a happy space and i remember in that video she said she was she was leave, like um, keeping out the other people because she was loyal to burn a boy and now that that's not the case i just wish for her that she finds obviously this girl wants love so i hope that she finds a nice somebody that would see her beauty inside and out and behind what, what, and what I look like. Ah. Please, I beg, I beg, I beg. We're going on a quick break. Because right. I, don't have, I don't have my second Grammy nomination. Oh, uh, yes. Okay. Exactly that. It's, it's all right. <laughs>